Okay. What plans have surprised you so far? Well, uh, tonight I uh, thought that uh, Mojo made a couple nice runs, and Rutley's been running the ball well. Um, I tell you, uh, it was um, Manu made some nice hits. Um, Duke made some nice plays. Um, I thought it was, it's been a, a good deal. Josh Harrison's been doing a really good job, but he wasn't. He tweaked his, uh, I think his quad a little bit, so he wasn't able to scrimmage tonight. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think Alau has done a really good job at offensive guard, and um, and he's even been playing some nose guard. So it's been fun watching him do that. Tell us about the night practices you installed um, here at San Jose State. What's the purpose of it? Well, the purpose of it is they're in class all day long, and I didn't want to have practice where I had 10 players coming and going. It, to be a unity group to run a, uh, if you were in a classroom, you wouldn't want people coming in out of your classroom all day, and I have to treat this like this is my classroom. So we, this was the only time we had this spring to be able to practice and at night. And I think the guys liked it. It's kind of a change of pace, getting under the lights. And, you know, there's quite a few people here, which was fun for them. So I think that broke up the monotony of that. But next spring we'll have our class schedule under control where at least a couple days a week we can practice during the day. But I'll still throw some nights in there just for the fun of it. Okay. What's the purpose of this, this year's spring practice, not only for you, but for your entire coaching staff as well? Well, I think uh, the first part of our spring practice, this first phase, we just finished six practices. The first phase was to instill the type of uh, – attitude we wanted out there and the type of effort and also evaluate players. We needed to as a staff evaluate the players and find out where we needed to put them, what our strengths and weaknesses are and now we'll sit down over spring break, figure out exactly the way we want to go and we'll come back after spring break and do a little bit more installing of our offenses and defense. Would it be fair to make an assessment that maybe the defense had a little more success tonight than the offense? Well, I would say you might, might could say that, but we're we're rotating quarterbacks in and out, and we're rotating running backs in and out, so there's not really a continuity. Tonight really was about evaluating talent and seeing the effort and the toughness of the football team. That was what tonight was about. I really, of course, you always want everything to go smooth, but it was six practices. We've been, as you saw, we flopped guys back and forth on both sides of the ball. So I, today, tonight was about evaluating talent, not really about who was moving the ball or who was stopping who. So you have a lot of... Uh... You have a lot of tape to look at for yep. the next have few some, days. Have some good tape to look at. And the good thing about it is they played spirited. No one got hurt. And uh, I think we were able to get enough plays in that we could evaluate these young men well at the different positions we put them at. Now, lastly, uh, what, do you want, uh, what do you want the guys to take with them into spring break? And what do you want them to come back with? Well, I want them to take into spring break that they're, we've kind of come to a point where they're, they're starting to learn how to work. And they're starting to understand that we're going to practice a, a little bit longer. We're going to push them a little bit harder. We're going to be in condition, and we're going to stay on top of them in every phase. And I think that they understand that, and they're starting to really, really buy in. They really want to please, and they really want to do well. And I'm, I'm pleased with their effort.